It's about time for their DraftKings predictions, but joining us, of course, is our ESPN gambling expert, Ian Parker, as well, because we need to hear his thoughts on who he believes will win this main and co-main event. But, Mike, I want to start with you. Oh. It's for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world, <laughs> and it's between two guys who are familiar with one another in the practice room as well as in competition. Who do you believe leaves here the undisputed king at heavyweight? Well, this really is one of the toughest fights that I've ever had to make a prediction on. Because I can argue all day long for Cyril Garn. I can say he's better. He's a better striker. He's more coordinated. He's just as powerful. He's got a better gas tank. He's got a better strategy. Yada, 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 yada. Never undefeated. Goes on all day. Fact is, though, as I said before, he's got to be perfect. And I mean utterly perfect the entire time. Francis Ngannou only has to touch him once. And for that reason, I think I'm going to say Ngannou. I'm not confident in that pick, but I've got to make one. And I'm going to say Francis Ngannou connects with the chin and ultimately Silgan goes down. Okay. I agree with Mike. I don't think I've had this hard of a time making a prediction. And, 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 I, and I, it makes me feel very silly because mm -hmm. I can tell you all the reasons why Cyril Gahn should beat Francis Ngannou. Yes. Like, Francis Ngannou should not win this fight. But uh, there's more to fighting. There's emotions. There's... There's heart and determination, there's, and there's intuition. And Head, Cyril Gahn. <laughs> exactly. Or oh, Francis Ngannou. That's, yeah, that's one go. is correct. I don't know. That's, that's how it feels. I, I am leaning Francis Ngannou. I think he has a high-level experience uh, advantage. I think that he's more comfortable in there right now. Uh, and he knows he has that, that ultimate eraser that will get rid of every mistake he makes up until the point he connects on the chin. All right. Ian, are you with these two? Are you picking Francis Ngannou? Purely out of fear, am I not going to go against Francis or the two gentlemen sitting right next to you? But uh, look, uh, I, lo I really do like Francis Ngannou in this fight, especially as an underdog. You know, Mike said it really perfectly that Cyril Ghosn has to be perfect for the first 15 minutes. And one thing that we haven't really touched upon is the difference in Francis Ngannou between the Rosenstrike fight, where he kind of just charged forward with reckless abandon. Then against Stipe, where he was poised, he was technical, and he threw that short check hook, and that's what knocked out Stipe. I think we see a better version of Francis Ngannou, and I think that's why he, uh, he retains his belt at a plus odds. I'm all over the dog, betting-wise. All right, you're all going to either be celebrating or be saying, I knew I should have picked Cyril Gaon. So we will see what happens in that main <laughs> event. In our co-main, Mike, it's the trilogy. Yes. These two are very familiar with one another. Brandon Moreno hopes to retain the gold that he won from opponent Davis and Figueredo. When you look at this one scheduled for 25 minutes in the flyweight division, who leaves here with the belt? I'll start with this. we got to get ready for a quadrilogy. And I know that's not <laughs> even a word, but whatever the fourth term is, that's what we got to get ready for because that's what we're we're going to see. <laughs> Davison Figueredo is a nasty man. He's motivated. He's angry. And he hits harder. He can match the jiu-jitsu. He just never showed up last time. I believe this time he comes out the gate very, very hot. And we get a knockout in either round one or round two. And new. And the fourth one will be made pretty soon because it's just what needs to happen. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Anthony? I'm a, I think I'm a bit bullish on the finish. I think these guys are going to go the entire five rounds. I think they're both just so high level. Uh, I think it's going to be hard for one of them to pull that far ahead. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to go with Brandon Moreno. I, I truly, truly believe that Brandon Moreno is starting a very long streak of being champion. I, I, I just think that he's meaner than people give him credit for. I think the smiles and, and, and the jokes and, and, you know, the games that he plays, his childish attitude, I think that all disappears when he's at the door. And I think Davis and Figueredo felt that in the second fight, and I don't think he's going to forget that. I just love that everybody is so torn on this, and I love that everyone's excited for this flyweight co-main event. Ian, I know you've studied this one. So who do you believe takes it? I'm going with the champ, Brandon Moreno, here. I just think that Davison Figueroa's mystique of being this dark villain, and everyone, I think Anthony said it before, people will go into that fight afraid of him, and once you step in that cage and you are intimidated, you're worried about the power, Brandon Moreno has felt that not once, but twice, and the second time, he didn't just beat him. He embarrassed him. He finished him. And I don't really see why this fight would go any different. I, I do agree also with Anthony. I think this fight goes over two and a half rounds. But to me, it's not that Figueredo's not going to come out as a bad, bad man. I just think Moreno has his number. I think the striking's there and the grappling goes in his favor. I like Brandon Moreno to retain the title here. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.